Hey everybody, welcome back to a brief on grief. Um, today I got <laughs> lots of thing, lots of things, lots of energy in my heart and my body right now. It's a mix of all kinds of things. It's beautiful. Um, during a very powerful week that I'm going through, um, uh, doing like an EFT tapping retreat. And I, I knew this week would be powerful. And yes, <laughs> it most definitely is. And something that's come up during this experience um, on the topic of letting go and loss is a really strong belief, a really, uh, up until, yeah, recently, I would argue for its truth as fact. I will share it with you. Um, I've realized, well, realized a lot in the last couple of days, but a few days ago, I realized I had a very big fear or a very big truth that I thought that having any more um, financial abundance, any more success abundance in this passionate business that I'm growing, what I picture down the road, there's no way that I can have that without losing freedom, without losing time to have freedom to spend it to so basically losing joy and losing freedom. So I'm equating with the abundance and success that I dream of <laughs> in creating this passionate business. I actually see it not adding to my joy. I actually have this great fear about it taking away my joy and taking away my freedom. And just yesterday, realizing that this is a really hard belief to shift <laughs> right now and just realizing how strong it is in me and where it's actually coming from, that it's, that I have this fight in me. Ooh, just even saying that word again today. This awareness came up yesterday while I was tapping that I've actually been fighting to uphold my joy and freedom all of my life. And that this fear, this belief that I have, this truth I see between having to sacrifice my joy and time freedom to have this passionate business and this money abundance that I want, that it it's coming from that fear, that desperation, that terror of losing my joy and freedom and the fight that's been going on for 44 and a half years, more than that, <laughs> years of my life. And that it doesn't have to be that way. I realized yesterday it doesn't have to be that way, although I have no idea <laughs> how to shift it. I don't need to know though. And the way it relates to this topic, again, because some of the fear of letting it go, it's just the fear of letting it go is inside of me. So not only the fear of what I think this means related to joy and losing joy, but it's also the fear of letting it go. The fear of the loss, the fear of changing this belief and what that means for my life because clearly I've had this belief and I've been doing this upholding, this fight to uphold my joy and freedom all my life to keep myself safe. It's been a safety protective armor in a way for me. And so, yeah, <laughs> the, I would say, so this would be a conscious change, right? I, I've done a video on conscious loss, right? And loss and grief don't, not only comes from these unsuspected losses that we don't see, but actually comes from choices that we make in our lives that create change and loss. So this is going to be a huge change when I shift this belief and there's fear <laughs> related to that. Like, what does it look like? What does the other, other side look like? I actually get a great feeling of what the other, the other side looks like. But even with that glorious emotion that's positive, I still have terror and fear all intertwined and mixed in that too. So just a reminder on this that yes, it's about letting go and it can be terrifying. The change and the loss of changing anything can be terrifying. Changing your truth about life that you've seen for 40 plus years can be scary. So I'm just being reminded in this process that even though I can't see how I'm going to change it, I know that I will. And I know that I'm not alone doing it. And it just reminds me to be kind with myself when I'm terrified by it, terrified what the unknown may look like. Um, yeah, 
and just have faith that it's leading me to my wildest dreams ever and that it won't <laughs> that it won't actually take away from my joy and freedom that it's actually going to add <laughs> add profoundly to it so yes a little note on letting go and how terrifying that can be even when you're choosing to do it because it shakes things up and it creates an unknown and yeah that can be scary so be kind to yourself when you're changing things be kind to yourself when things change that you're not even expecting or that you are expecting because it's grief it's loss um yeah just be kind with your heart okay i'll see you next time bye